All right then, so we're outputting pretty much all the content we need to on these projects. The title, who it's by, and the content itself. But one thing not correct is the date, both on the details page and the summary. So these are currently hard-coded in both of these components, the project summary for the dashboard right here, and also the project details right here. So remember, when we added a new project, what we did is attach a date field to that, and that field was called created at, and this is a timestamp. So now we want to grab that timestamp and output it to the DOM so that a user can see exactly when that project was created. So then, let us now instead try and output that. So we have access to the project right here, okay? So what if we try to output instead of this, and I'm in the project summary here, by the way, and I'll output project dot created at, and then dot to date. So if I save this now, we should get an error. And that error is because if we head over here, we can see in one of these documents at the minute, we don't have a created at property. We do in all the rest, I think, created at, created at, and created at, but not this one. So what I'm gonna do is actually delete this document just so we don't have to deal with that. So start delete, and then if we go over here and refresh, then it should work. However, we get an error, and it says down here that objects are not valid as a React child. So this right here, this is actually a date object. So what we could do is say dot to string, I suppose, and save that, and let's see what happens. And this time we get this long-winded date output to the DOM instead. Now, I don't really want that either. So I guess what I could do is use a variety of different date methods to grab the information I want and output it in a certain way, but that's a little long-winded. So instead, what I'm gonna do is use a package called moment.js. And this allows us to format dates in a variety of different ways, like this, very easily, okay? So what we'll do is install moment, first of all, and then we'll use this package to output this date in a way that we want to. So I'm gonna go back to the editor and inside my console, I'm gonna CD into the Mario plan folder, which is our project. And then I'm gonna say npm install moment. All right, so once that's installed, I can just say import moments from moment. Okay, so now down here, I'm gonna get rid of to string. We're gonna keep this. We wanna convert this into a date. Then what we want to do is pass that into the moment function like so. So we're passing this date for our project into the moment function. Now, when we're using moment, we can use a variety of different methods like this to format our date differently, okay? So what we're gonna do is use this method right here so that we can output our date like this. So it's called calendar, this method. So all we need to say on the end of this is dot calendar, like so. Now, if we save this and view this in a browser, we should see the date update to look like this. And that looks a lot better, okay? So we still need to update it on the project details. So let's grab this like so and copy it inside project details. We need to first import moment. And then we can use that down here. So instead of this junk, we can say this. Okay, so let's save that and view this in a browser as well. And we should see that update and we can see now when it was posted. Awesome. So there we go, my friend. That's how we can work with Moment very easily to output dates in a way that we want to.